Hello. Good morning. This will be the first time speaking to you, the viewer. Today I want to teach you the effects of forces and how to increase your maneuverability without the use of downforce. Upside down wings are not a favorable amount of lift, of course. However, you can make your aircraft however you want, but that's just fine. I want to teach you the way I do it. For starters in building an aircraft, we either start with the tail or the nose. I favorably want to start with the nose. I will be speeding up the footage from here, and you will see what happens next. To start with, the tail control is the best option because the center of mass moves relative to the weight being applied, but this probably won't affect us too much, but it's best to be safer than sorry. Onto the configuring, I set RB and LB as my yaw, and set the desired angle. Best recommended, small angles of 15 to 30 degrees are best for stable turning. But also, reversing the speed turns the ailerons in the opposite direction. I forgot to space the tail properly. Sorry. Finally adding back our tail, we are almost done with the stabilizers. Once done with the controls, make sure to reverse the right tail. But again, this is only to be symmetrical. You can reverse the controls instead. Tail fins and any block most likely will give off drag and affect center of vertical drag or horizontal drag. But when behind the center of mass, you will have a stabilizer. Now we are ready for the wings. Experimenting with your lift, it will give you time to think. Having too much lift is hard to control, but having too little and you are falling with style. For simplicity, we will be using flaps as our role. However, flaps cost five complexity. Not so simple, honestly. It'd be cheaper to use two hinges and maybe four wings. Finishing the few pieces, the aircraft is ready to go. Let's also remember, roll check, pitch check, and yaw check. This aircraft looks quite decent, but let's see your turn radius. Okay, what about roll? Let's see that. Good, but not good enough. Here is where I will be showing you how to increase maneuverability. Where the center of vertical drag is, is to tell you how stable and or maneuverable your aircraft is. The closer, the more maneuverable. The further, the more stable. There is a balance in between, just like the Goldilocks system. Putting fins at the front of your vehicle will move that center of drag forwards, but also putting them in the back will move it backwards, stabilizing your aircraft. And we are ready to fly again. Now, 
The aircraft seems to turn a little better, but not good enough. Not what I want. I also need to fix something. It seems to sink as it moves through the air. This is going to take some time. Almost forgot to configure pitch and the roll. Luckily, I remembered. Uniquely, flaps have steering help, while ailerons do not. For my flaps, I am setting 35% on my steering help. The reason I am doing this is to increase my acceleration on roll. On takeoff, I noticed the aircraft wanting to nose up a lot. This is because the spoiler is giving more lift than the wings. However, this gives the aircraft a favorable amount of mobility, possibly a capable turn fighter. To fix the self-pitching issue, switch the spoiler around with the wing. This will move the center of lift further back. Spoilers give more lift than modular wings or even small wings, while also holding a much more compact area. Aerodynamic blocks will cause pitching, or even horizontal drag, and that makes lift body aircraft possible, but that could be also the cause of your aircraft pitching up. Just for proof, I have removed the front tail fins. When building a plane, I recommend the forces tool in advanced. It will tell you what you need in order for a stable flight. Now, off recording, I will be building a plane in the style of a modern aircraft. Things didn't go as planned. But farewell to plans, because mistakes are sometimes happy accidents. As you can see, I have made an F-22 looking aircraft, but actually inspired by one of my own aircraft. This aircraft on its first flight proved to be much more maneuverable than the first one. Somehow I had planned this. Let me explain the forces. Your weight is how heavy you are. Your mass is what all of your weight collects and explains the area of all the mass you have and will help by telling you where the center of mass is. Now second is center thrust. Wherever you place your thrust to your mass will affect the vehicle if offset and not well centered, but also the power of your thrust should be considered. Third, center of lift. As you should know, the center of lift should be directly even with the center of mass, or as close to as possible. But remember to add lift strong enough to keep the aircraft aloft and situated through the air. Stage two. Tuning horizontal and vertical drag. Horizontal drag, what keeps you pointed in the right direction. Everyone knows that if you go in a direction, you have to have a way of keeping straight. Like car steering, that is kind of like yaw. A vertical stabilizer usually has to be in the back of the plane, on the fuselage, sometimes on the wings, mainly on the fuselage. Sometimes you will see tail fins on the wings of certain planes. This is usually to reduce drag and also somewhat probably increase turning rate, but that's not really its purpose. Vertical drag, what keeps you from flipping like a raging Red Bull. To explain with, vertical drag is what comes into cross-section with anything horizontal or diagonal. For example, a pivoting vertical fin turns horizontally and is supporting both drag forces and stabilizes the vehicle. Remember, behind the center of mass, the vertical drag is a stabilizer and increases the circumference of the turn, but that doesn't mean it is inefficient. Instead, that is what we need. What is best is also to add stabilizers in the front of the mass as to decrease the circumference of the turn, 
for sufficient sport, fighter, drone, or missile, or just any aircraft. Remember, too far and it might just make your aircraft unstable, or make your aircraft not turn right. I believe this is a good place to end the tutorial and clarification of the basics of aircraft at an understanding level. If you so much as enjoyed and understood what I was saying the entire time and actually watched the full way through, thank you. And that concludes this tutorial, and if you remember, never flip wings upside down. Good day, and or good night, to you. Have fun, and I'll see you again.